the fear that white people had of black people was so deeply internalized and reinforced by church and government and business that black town halls were burned, black churches were burned. And if a black man defended himself against the aggressor, against the white man, not only could he be killed, but his family could be killed. He might be subjected to hours of torture. In some cases, more than one, a black man was tied on a log and burned from his feet up so that an extensive crowd of people could take pleasure out of the screams and the horror. At his home near Savannah, Georgia, James Allen has collected a photographic record of racial violence in the South. For the past 20 years, he's found horrifying pictures in the family albums of ordinary southern homes. Many are postcards that were mass-produced as souvenirs. Some of these images were printed in the tens of thousands and sold for a dime or a dollar apiece. Some of the postcards tell you where to write and the discounts you'll get if you buy one, ten, or a hundred. They were sold in drugstores and pharmacies. They were sold on the street. I purchased a photograph from a woman. The photographer sold them door to door. Her mother bought the image for two bucks. A murder that is of particular interest to me was of a 17-year-old boy by the name of Jess Washington in Waco, Texas in 1916. He was men seriously mentally challenged. The wife of the farmer that he worked for was found dead. He was arrested. He was brought to trial. The trial took from 10 until 12. And when the jury came back at noon and found him guilty, someone in the courtroom, and it could have been, would have been anyone in the courtroom, screamed out, get that nigger. <laughs> in one of the worst and cruelest treatments of a human being began. Jess was kicked down out of the courthouse, down the back steps where a crowd of several hundred was waiting for him. They put a chain on his neck. There were 16,000 people crowding the street to watch this boy be tortured. Jess was tied to the chain over a branch of a tree. The fire was started. They raised Jess from the fire up into the air so that the crowd could see him. There were cheers, like at a football game, cheering the torturers on. When Jess tried to climb up the chain, hand by hand, they cut his fingers off one by one so that all he could do was slap at the chain. They lowered him back down in the fire. A man came up and castrated him. Another man kept a pole so that he couldn't crawl out of the fire. And time and again, they pulled him up to keep him from dying so that the crowd could be satisfied until he finally died. 